so busted. The movie. Okay, so why are we watching this? I don't understand. How long is this supposed to be? Did they say? Oh, Silent Hill F News would be cool. Okay. I mean, we'll watch it, but I'm in a lot of pain. So if you love my content, please give me money right now. My contact is literally like, I have never been in much pain. Like, I'm seriously, I don't, I like, these contacts have been fun, but like, they've been really fucking me up lately. That's why I don't stream as much. I'd rather just be blind. Like, just like squint. I know that. The last stream we did of this was so long ago. It was like two years ago. Well, it's in nine minutes. I'm going to use the bathroom. Um, but oh my god, ow. I did, yeah, it's on my channel. My first playthrough of Silent Hill 2 and 3 are on my channel as well. Just look up my name. Like, if you guys want to see me play a game or like want to know if I played a game, just like look up. Nemesis LaCroix, and then type the game in on YouTube. You can find it pretty easily. Um, I thought it was pretty um, ridiculous. Like, it just seemed like it was, like, someone that was looking at, like, Gen Z and millennials getting bullied and, like, didn't actually get bullied, and they were, like... It was, like, corny. Like, I understood the message, but, like... I, I explained it in the video. Like, it... It seemed like when you get bullied, you get called slurs, you get beat up, you get violent, like you get violent things happen. And like in the game, they were like, you're a nerd, you're a, you're a loser, you smell like po poopy. It's like, that doesn't really actually happen. Like maybe in like elementary school, but like the storyline was, I don't know. It needed a little more TLC and maybe some stories from actual people that get bullied. That's my opinion. Yes. Like, she was literally about to kill herself because she was literally getting called, like, like, she was getting, like, you're a loser claims for bullying. Like, not to, like, discredit anybody's suicide, but it was like, you're a dork! And she was like, I'm gonna kill myself. Like, what? It needed to be deeper. It needed to go there. It seemed like they wanted to put it, like, slurs and, like, violent acts of bull like if you're gonna take the game to a suicide place like turn it up like make it make me feel like uncomfortable like when i play a horror game i want to be made uncomfortable like i'm not here for the pc nature of it like outlast one the whistleblower dlc where that man was chasing you down trying to touch your penis and cut it off that is uncomfortable scary and i'm here for it like i want the deep scary uncomfortable stuff go there and they act like they can't like if like no shade from this show we're about to watch the silent hill show if i see any pc like that fucking short message shit i'm gonna be mad because the silent hill games are notorious for being uncomfortable and deep like the the plot of the second game is so like monumental for the horror game community and if they twist it into making it this like disney pixar level production opposed to making it uncomfortable and like scary and like the storyline of pyramid head like sexually assaulting like things to symbolize that jason i mean james is like cheating and like xy like you know what i mean like not that i want these things in the game but if you're gonna do the message go for it like, we don't need to cater to the fucking 15-year-olds on Twitter that are going to cry about it. They can cry about it. Like, but make the fucking game uncomfortable if you're going to make it that. I get very passionate about games I love. I do want a Silent Hill tattoo. What's your favorite Silent Hill? It's really hard between two and three. I actually really liked four, too. And I actually really liked one. I don't know if I could pick one. I would want to get the save symbol um, from three. Like the... 
But that also is like a demonic meaning, so I don't know how that, that would fly, but. I agree. Well, that's even like, that's like some Resident Evil games too. It's like in Resident Evil, everybody was uncomfortable and thought it was problematic when like they went to Africa and like they the scene took place there. But like if the game didn't take place there, then we wouldn't get visibility on people like Sheva. Like Sheva's entire storyline in five, she's the main character. And if it didn't happen there and the story, like I think like not showing things is a ploy to, I just don't think it's appropriate. Like with the whole, I, when problematic things happen, it's better to talk about them and make them present and show them, even if they are on the borderline of uncomfortability or problematic, it's better to show them and then take action or reprimand yourself or discuss them because then it's bringing these topics to light and you discuss it and you work through it and then you, you figure out why it's problematic or why it could be fixed or why it cannot. Like if they didn't, like if they, I, I think for example, like Sherry Pie, like Sherry Pie on Drag Race, terrible person. But if they completely like, like blurred her out of the entire show and just made her like this, like animal in the closet, like we wouldn't be able to like be like she's a terrible person like it would make her more of a scarier person you know what i mean like bring bring it out and then we can f you you know like it is reality like we have to well that too well they could have edited her out a little more but, but nobody's perfect but you know what I mean? <clears throat> the editors didn't do a good job. Of They could have edited her out more. Like, Lee, when Lee did the root caps, Lee pretty much edited her out. But still. That's, we're going off topic. I'm talking about, in general, like, storylines and stuff. That could be borderline. But, like, in, like we have so many, like, so many storylines about just like boring cis white people. Like let's get stories of trans people and people of color and different cultures and different settings and things. Like we don't need an, we don't need an Americanized story of a white girl and a blonde bang that's doing the same fucking shit every day of her life going to fucking Sunday school and being a racist little piece of shit. Like, I don't need to see those stories on repeat. And that's what fucking, whatever that trailer was giving me with, what's her name? The Silent Hill trailer with that fucking Angela girl. She looked so botched. This is starting in 60 seconds, but I have to go to the bathroom. So like, if we're a little late, it's fine. Can we start it? <laughs> it has been almost two years since the original Silent Hill transmission. 
like I remember streaming it and being so excited and we got like no news until like last week. So I'm hoping we get some stuff. I was in a fierce bob for the stream. It was fierce. I liked it. I liked the bob. Okay, you're a little loud, Miss Thing. They announced four Silent Hill games, yeah. We haven't heard since. Yeah, Tell Me Why is a great game. I know, I want to see Silent Hill F and I want a release date because I've been so excited since that trailer because it looks amazing. And the person that made Higashiri When They Cried, a notorious horror anime, is on the team for Silent Hill F, so I want to see it bad. And if you haven't seen Higashiri When They Cried, watch the original. It's from the early 2000s. And watch the original. Don't watch the Hulu remake. That anime is one of the best, if not the best anime I've ever watched in my entire life. It is so good. It's a little scary, a little horror-y. Horror but that's what you're seated for. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is really dry. It's kind of like your vagina. I really could not tell you the synopsis because the show just goes crazy. And I wouldn't want to spoil anything. You just have to watch it. Like, it's not crazy. All right, let's make it a good one. Two years in the making. I want some release dates. I want some pictures. I want some images. I want sexy pyramid head R at three, four on my homepage. Uh-huh. <gasps> Why are, what's going on? Is someone, is someone there? <gasps> Hi dear. Love you, Boogie, bestie. I'm praying we get some sexy pyramid head sister. I know you, you love that. Dear literally will retweet naked pyramid heads <laughs> pictures on her Twitter. So, like, I remember one time you retweeted, like, a sexy picture of him. And I was like, you're real AF. You're so fucking real. Yes, if you're from me and you obviously... If you don't know Dear, I don't know what you're doing here on Twitch. But please follow my good friend. Uh, it... It's very... They need to put that in Dead by Daylight. Like, him in a Speedo. Just for, uh, for Pride Month. Can they just do that for us? What is happening here? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Literally everybody in the chat is like, what is going on? Oh, okay. Oh, is it because it's at seven? Oh, we still have to wait five or four minutes, whatever. Trying to think. Oh, um, dear, they announced a cute little like sack boy kind of game for the PlayStation. I know you and Chad like that game. Um, it's like Astro Boy, but like they made it more like um Little Big Planet Sack Boy to use. They just announced it at the state of play. I would consider look it up. It's very cute. There's like customizations like Little Big Planet and stuff. It's very adorable. Yeah, nothing really else, though. 
We wait for this. I want Silent Hill F news. I really want to see Silent Hill F. Of you going, well. <laughs> I know, I need to do that. I need to make it a gift. I'm just taking it one day at a time. <laughs> I have so much on my plate. And I'm going through trans girl things. So, like big things in my journey. So, I'm trying to take it easy. I know, I want to see... I. So we were just talking about this before you came in. The person that wrote Higashri When They Cried, the iconic anime, it's one of, one of the only animes I've seen like go there. Like there's this iconic scene that this girl pries off her sister's fingernails and like kills her brutally. It's a very twisted anime, but the guy that did that is writing Silent Hill F. So I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm so excited for Monster Hunter 2. I love being a Capcom creator. They make some of the best games. Like, it makes me so happy. They sent me a cute little package a couple months ago for, like, a two-year anniversary of being a Capcom creator. A cute little hoodie. I wear it, like, all the time. It's so comfy. Yeah, the way they literally were like, those rumors aren't true. Did you respond to the Discord notification? <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, I think it was one of the days that I actually like looked through and I was like, oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> well, you are. You're valued. You're valued. <laughs> oh my god, these countdowns, girl! All day. Well, hi, Blizz. Yeah, we're chilling. We're watching the showcases today. Um, and then we'll probably end because have a headache and my eye, my contacts are hurting my eyes and the girl's falling apart and I'm wearing a wig today. I don't do that. Oh, but the, okay. So the reason why I've been wearing wigs is because the lady messed up on my hair when dyeing it. So she was supposed to fix my roots and then she ruined it, but I got something to fix it. So it doesn't look green anymore. So I'll be able to use my real hair in a couple days. <laughs> it needs like one more wash. Yeah, because my hair, the ends are poopy. So she put, like, toner in it, and it took too much of it. So. Well, not too much now. She's a family friend. She's not transphobic. Well, I haven't really told her that I'm trans, but I kind of just walk in with my tits hanging out, so. I just don't feel the obligation to tell people that I'm trans. Like, whatever. Like, maybe figure it out. Well, I'm at a state of, like, my boob journey that I don't need to wear. Well, I do need to wear a bra, but I don't. And, like, I just don't care. Well, I also, like, who, well, I'm a girl. Like, why do I have to wear a bra? You don't have to wear a bra. Girls don't have to wear bras all the time. <laughs> Bible. Bible girl, tell it. Would anyone like a French toast stick? Me. <laughs> Not opens mouth. <laughs> Hello? I think this is the Silent Hill F of music, is it not? 
Not fuck my mouth with that French toast stick. Oh my god. I thought this was a classy party. Oh, is it? <laughs> When we get, not them just playing this song and they're like, whatever, and then they're gonna be like, no Silent Hill 1 anytime soon for you. I know, I'm like, Silent Hill? <gasps> Could you imagine they shadow drop something today? Remember that, like, show they were trying to make happen? Oh, that's not. Yeah, like, they need to put that just on PC so we can make our own decisions and have fun with it. The mobile game and then also weekly, like, everybody has to decide on a thing. Nuh-uh. No. The milliseconds are not fake. Oh, maybe it is. You know what I wanna see from Konami? I wanna see Metal Gear Solid, Solid Snake in a jockstrap and nothing else, but I want it to be like a full playable game, but like you don't shoot things and play the game. You just like dance around like Bayonetta. And I want, I want Jiggle Physics. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> I know, I saw, I clocked that. I played like the day before they opened the servers or whatever, just to, like test things out. And I was like, oh, you can get boobs. Yes! Yeah, what's with girls always having the boob physics, but men don't have the booty or the front physics? Can we wake that tea up? Sweet. Stream goes down during this as well. Just sit here, sit tight till I refresh. I don't know why it crashed earlier. Uh oh. Minasan, konnichiwa. Silent Hill no jiohou wo tsutai suru bangi ni Silent Hill Transmission e yo koso. Silent Hill series no producer wo tsutomeru Okamoto Motoi desu. Zenkai wa ooku no title no saishin jiohou wo ikki ni otomoku shi desu ga. Where are they? Oh! So no Silent Hill F news? Okay. His shirt, the Pyramid Head shirt. Can I have one? I want one. Show it to me, Rachel, please. Bluber. I see that town, Pina. Silent Hill. Yeah, he looks ugly as fuck in this game. We just saw a clip of him and Angela, and they look ridiculous. That's not true. Your voice acting is not faithfully remade. This whole town was our special place. Oh, I just pulled my hair out. You promised you'd take me there again someday. Nina. But you never did. She has a new outfit. I didn't clock it. Wait, was that Maria? Oh. The fact I have contacts in and I still don't see things. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said Mary. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Is she really alive? Well, no. Spoiler. <gasps> sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. I spoiled it. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gameplay. Finally. I do, I do like it in this engine. I like the new gen engine. I mean, I like 
I like when there's original and new gen. I do love a polygon. I do like retro. That's a poop stain, Mary. Who's shitting all over the place? Not Eureka. Ava. Hey, wait. Not too much. I mean, you too much on her because she was weird AF for that. Not you gagging her like that. Oh, you're gonna crawl in there? Oh, you're brave. I can't see. Turn the lights on. Oh, okay. Yeah, mind you, he had no ass on the floor. So what's that about? Very much so. Oh my god, this is just so beautiful. I'm starting to cry again. It's just so beautiful. Just wow. Just so magical. Wasn't it in an alleyway or something? I remember being in an alleyway. Not faithfully remade at all. <laughs> Where are you, Mary? unfaithfully remade right like what like don't say it's faithfully remade we would have just like believed other you know what i mean like you didn't have to say that you could have just said like it's a remake <laughs> okay artist artist alley at twitchcon hopefully i can't believe i went to pax and there was no artist alley like excuse me like, that's literally why I want to go to Comic-Con. None of your business. Get some Starfire stuff. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? Hey, wait! I kind of forgot about her. Oop. How do you know her name? The hospital is very important to me. When Dead by Daylight adds Maria's new outfit and we jump. Right. Where did she go? Oh, mother looks good. Let's look around. I know, right? Faithfully remade, but we changed almost everything. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I would wear that. I would. More than the other places we've been. If I could get that bob too, I would wear that bob. You know I love a good Bob. Well, yeah, the cosplay could and come, and it could come. Come. <laughs> I stuttered over my words. It's it's a wrap. What the fuck is she looking at? <laughs> Not in my channel. Wait, is it actually banned in my chat? <laughs> I can say it, you can't. <laughs> I will say like, 
Everybody was saying this game looks like shit. Like, I don't think it looks like shit. I just think it's a remake. You know what was shit? When Resident Evil 3 Whoa. was two minutes long. Wait. That's a remake that was, it was good, but it's okay. a little no, short for my tasting. God damn it. Imagine this game is like three hours. What was that? What was that? Now, where is that girl? He looks so ugly. Oh, mother nurse. One of my first times in drag was doing a nurse cosplay. Like, I want to play as them. I hope there's mods when it comes out. Like, let me play as a nurse. Okay, back it up, James. Not too much on my sister. Like, he's doing a little too much. Wait, stop. Oh, he has no ammo. Oh. Sister, get up! Fight back! We need to cancel him. He's over. Women hater. Like literally, oh, okay. Like, was that necessary? Is that an earring? Oh. Like, that's a fucking ugly ass earring. <laughs> when a nurse jumps out of one of these lockers. Oh. Not Tibbers. Tibbers! Can I be very, oh. Okay, that was just unnecessary. Okay, yes, bitch, get up, yes! Okay. The second whack, unnecessary. One was enough. Women hater. Just unnecessary. Just men are disgusting if you really think about it. Like, it's exhausting. Right. Like what? Oh! Eureka, sorry. <laughs> and he's <laughs> well, like no shade, she's never coming back from that. Like Kim like literally ended her career. Like how do you come back from that? She already had the racist allegations and now she has that. Like, oh, it's bad for her. Nina West on National Foot Day. Sorry. Uh, look up the Twitter post. It's uh, Eureka pretty much called out Kim and then Kim said, well, you're smelly shit on a bed and you have a pussy scab in our tour bus and you're, you smell like shit. Just look it up. Just look up literally like Kim Eureka on Twitter. Laura, why do you keep running away from me? And how do you know about Mary? Mary's my friend. Yes, thank you. We met at the you. hospital last year. Stop lying. Flora, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Notice how he just did that? Don't believe me. But if it was another man, do you think he would have acted like that? I'm sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just stay with me, okay? This is no place for a kid. Fine. 
Yeah, because you probably like kids, you freak. Sorry. There's something I gotta get. It's important. We hate James in this household. Damn right. A letter. For Mary. What? I hid it. In there. Ew, stop. Yeah, they should have just made James look like that guy that got plastic surgery to be a Ken doll. Just go there, you know? You sure this is where you left it? Or just take Tom Holland's face and put him on him, because then I would have creamed. Sorry. Okay, well, wait here. Oh, she gagged. <laughs> open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Do Get him again for me. In your dreams, fart face. <laughs> wait, get him again, sister. Wait, wait. Yeah, get him, fart face. You fart face. Yeah, fuck you, James, fart face. Yeah, yeah, fart face. Oh, I'm buying day one. Oh, it's not even a question now. End that fraud. Women hater. Oh, that's it? I wanted to see what that was. Can we get a release date? The release date got leaked, so. I thought this was my microphone. I'm not even kidding. Hello. Where is the release date? What, you're just gonna show me? Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. シーンの最高のロジカルホラーであり、シリーズ最高傑作として評された再連と秘密のストーリーはそのままに本作ではよりその世界観に没頭できるようにゲームデザイナー、ユーザー体験を強化しています。そしてすでに発表いたしましたと
to some of the girls. I think the biggest challenge that we've had was actually how to make the game approachable for the newcomers who right. have not played the original, but at the same time to still retain the familiarity of the, of the game that the player remembers from 20 years ago. Our goal from the very beginning was to maintain the game's atmosphere. Yeah, this is cute and all, but this could have been an email. Like, I understand you want to get your screen time, but like, I... In the remake, the story remains largely well, I... the same. However, with the magic of modern technology, we were able to expand on some of its aspects. The hardest was designing combat. We want to be as faithful <laughs> as possible uh, to the original game. Uh -huh. But also, we want players to feel satisfaction while playing, uh, remembering that uh, we need to fit in horror genre standards. So when making a game with static cameras, you as a designer have much more control over what players oh. choose, where they go, and so on. The change for the third-person perspective was a challenge. That being said, it's a chance for us to expand this world, to show the players new elements that were previously inaccessible, and just make this game richer. So the main thing that requires rethinking was the fog because it was called classic in the original game and it a veil that covers the world and, and uh, makes the player to feel the, the fog was hard to do was it new technologies <laughs> gives us a chance to do things that were not possible during the earlier generations of Dear, the please this is very visible in facial expressions we can tell so much through just mama look at her she looks boo boo the fool the presented gameplay footage shows a fragment of the city from the beginning of the game. Of what? Some sections in Brooklyn. A fragment? The fight against monsters is prepared. What's fragment in a minus the R? Form, and Tell it's me. It's mainly based on the varied designs of the enemies. James is not used to fighting, so his arsenal of attacks is limited. Adapting your approach to the situation will be the key. <laughs> Tell me, Rachel. <laughs> However, your playing style, among other things, determines what ending you will discover. I just don't understand, like, the voice acting is so bad with Angela. And, like, she's supposed to symbolize, like, more than just a Pixar mom. さらにゲームの中でジェームス役メアリーとマリア役を演じてくれたキャストのインタビューも届いています。こちらもご覧ください。So I'm Luke Roberts, and I'm playing James oh. in the remake of Silent Hill 2. My name is Silent McGuinness-Listed, and I play Mary... Wait, why is he hot in real life, but the face card is not iconic correct in game? James Sunderland, you obviously have to respect the original. When playing these characters in this game, the thing that I paid most attention to was the original game. So he is not um, an action hero by any means. Um, he is just a guy who... Is at the top Love of a silver fox. And, uh, in Damn. Of, um, oh wow. He, he is to to a greater extent uh, in a, in a bewildered state. Um, so it's very interesting um, charting his his journey. This yeah, it's quite literally just his hair and like honor something that's what they did in made. game. And so like, wow. it's not me creating something; it's me channeling something. The tone of this. They said Maria, is Mary, and what? Where is Maria? And the team at Bluebird were very keen to create an incredible atmosphere um, for the uh, for the gamers. Because that isn't that Mary. That this will be trying its very best. Oh, that's Maria. Capture. Oh, they're capture the atmosphere, the vibe, and. Well, yes, the but I thought they used two different like face models. I didn't think they were the same. Moments of the original. Or that kid. What was the kid's name? I haven't played the game in so long. Laura. I thought that was Laura. Girl, I haven't played the fight. Shut up. I'm about to end stream. Y'all are so annoying. I came to adapt Silent Hill 2 with respect and passion. It's an 
an act of passion for me. I consider that the four first game are a masterpiece. Very what is happening? And very transgressive piece of art. Yeah, Sunday what is happening? Is the, the most adult of all the Silent Hill, but the story of James Sunderland. He has lost his beloved bride and he decided to go back to Silent Hill to find her. And he realized that basically the town has changed. It became something like a hell. Wait, this is a movie? Going through They're doing a movie? Hell to find her back and find her somewhere a truth about himself. This film had an emotional level to the horror and certainly because of that, the or is even more we couldn't put the budget anywhere else unsettling. i consider that the first film was like an epic journey for horror. this one is much more like a, a deep dive into the psychological horror from the first film ew of, uh, was film, that simple i remember that ew on it and on this one i had the great surprise to realize that the people who were going to help me on the production design but also on the makeup but also on uh, the costume but also on every level of the film i had in front of me very young technicians who knew the game the film and loved them the level of enthusiasm that i met in this film to create that strange world me. was quite I want to be part of one of the nurse actors let me in there I have to explain a lot this film to my crew and in fact no I didn't have to because they were the 2.0 generation of Silent Hill lovers and that helped me a lot and I think that the level of um, no the person that played Sybil actually killed a trans woman and she's so violently transphobic she's in prison now with you, the film and the game. she's not mother so that's very gratifying very emotional somewhere. I just made that up. really believed it. Why did you believe that? What is wrong with right you? Oh yeah, this person just killed a trans woman. She's transphobic and she's in prison now. Like, what are you Because the creatures were actually in front of the All the monsters on this film are played by... Y'all ate that. ...physic gift. They have created a level of strangeness and harmony into the monstrosity of these things, which I think... Oh, don't make that joke, dear, please. Put that clip on Reddit, but don't, but edit out the last part. He was also the producer. Start the rumors. The game. So, Akira Yamaoka, through his music, has given to the game more than just. Girl, is this over? I want to take my contacts out, take my dress off, let my titties out, eat some chicken tenders, and call it a fucking night. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Diva. I'm working. I wanted, I've had like all these like human hair blonde units, and since my hair is blonde now. Oh, that girl's wig was not cute. Anyway, I was like, I want to dye some wigs and have fun with them, so. Mama, they got the Party City store wig. ゲームとは少し異なる解釈で作られたもう一つのサイレントヒルツーゲームと映画をぜひとも両方体験してみてください。I won't. 続いてはサイレントヒルシリーズ。Oh, I'm excited for these. Wait, I'll buy. I'll buy if they're cute. I'll buy if they're cute. When they're ugly. 最初にご紹介するのは。Oh, is it an Android? Oh! It's so cute. リメイク版サイレントヒルツーよりシリーズ屈指の人気クリーチャー。レッドピラミッドシングはネンドロイドになって登場です。オプションパーツとして付属するオーナタ。オッケー、ウィガット。ウィガット。ウィガット。ウィガット。ウィガット。ウィガット。ウィガット。ウィガット。ウィガット。
ブルークリークアパート105号室にあるドレッサーのくぼみに入れる3枚のコインを再現しましたコインは3枚セットでゲーム内のパズルを模した特製ディスプレイボックスに入れてお届けします続いてパープルブルキーカードとなりますこちらも原作のサイレントヒル2のブルックヘイブン病院にあるルイーズパズルの箱を開けるのに必要なパープルキーカードを再現しています5000点限定シリアルナンバーを封入してお届けしますご紹介した2商品以外にもオランドグッズをご用意しています Oh, that's a dust pad. Oh, there's coasters. Oh, too bad I hate him, but cute. cute. Where's the Maria shirt? Bitch, if they release a Maria shirt, I'll shit my pants right here. Maria outfit. Next slide. Maria outfit. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Show me. Show it to me, Rachel. Show it to me, Konami. I hate y'all so much. I really do. Someone buy those swim trunks and send a selfie in those, nothing else. But. We played it, girl. We don't want to repeat it. We d There's not much to talk about. It wasn't great. You're その Silent Hill The Short Message からも魅力的なグッズが登場いたします。結構より、ワーク That's pussy, that's pussy. コンセプトアーティスト、伊藤正宏氏の完全監修を経て、The only good thing from that game. Right. ない美しさと、裏世界でプレイヤーを精神的に追い込む、心にまとわりつく恐ろしさを宿したスタチューになっています。When they're like, we actually have some merch with that girl's face on it. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's <laughs> not. Oh, that's 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 not. Oh, Oh my god, outsold Beyonce! <laughs> JK, this did not outsell anything. The way you can get it on TikTok, lol. Not really, I was not excited. それでは最後に本日ここまで皆さんにお届けしてきた中での一番のトピックスをもう一度。Please, Rachel. サイレントヒル2は10月8日発売。そして本日から予約開始となっております。ぜひ皆さんこの配信の後にチェックをお願いします。本日はようやくサイレントヒル2の新しい情報をお届けすることができて嬉しく思っています。ぜひ発売まで楽しみにしていただければと思います。またこのサイレントヒルトランスミッションでは今後も継続してサイレントヒルシリーズの情報を皆さんにお届けしてまいります続報を楽しみにしていてください本日はご視聴いただきありがとうございましたママ I The last one we got with updates was two years ago And we didn't get any news for Silent Hill F. Oh my god. I. That's literally all I wanted. Really, they didn't show a lot. Wow. Um, what a lovely show. Not really. Okay. Well, I'm kind of disappointed. We should have ended at the state of play, because, like, why did we continue? Because they showed nothing after the state of play. Like, what? We could have skipped this entire show. Right, right. Exactly.
That was so irritating. Not showing anything from Silent Hill F is so irritating to me and my homegirls. Like, I'm so irritated. So I'm so excited for that game. Like, release it. Like, what? Uh huh. Lovely. What? Hello? Oh, that's one of my ooms. I'm like, what is that? Anyway, I'm irritated. So um, I am going to de-drag and take a couple days off until a new news presentation, whatever. My eyes are fucking killing me. So please let me rest up and not put shit on my face because my eyes are killing me. Join the Discord if you want to chat because we have a booming Discord. It's been lovely. Thank you guys for being active in the Discord and chilling and having a good time. Um, but until next time, uh, my schedule is in the Discord. And for the presentation's sake, if you're watching on YouTube or whatever and you're wondering, we will be streaming the Nintendo Direct when it gets announced. Not sure when it comes out, uh, but I will try my best to cover it. We will be covering the uh, Summer Games Fest at 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the 7th. And then I'm going to be traveling to L.A. for some Pride stuff on the 8th and 9th. So if anything is on those days, we will cover them on the 10th of June. But until next time, y'all, I will see you later. Thanks for hanging. Enjoyed the shows. Enjoyed everything. Hanging out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Love y'all.